So at the top of horse, he's about to drop into Bone Shaker. Um, 99 PSI, two tokens in the fork now, just been serviced. So uh, lower and spring. Spring was pretty good. Didn't have bugger all grease in the neg. Um, had adequate grease in the positive, but no grease on the seals themselves at the top. Um, felt a little bit sticky now. It just feels phenomenal. It feels super butter smooth. Um, down from 102 with one token. I may go back to one token just to keep the front up a little higher, the sag a little higher, because I'm at probably 22% now. Right, we'll just chill, see how she's feeling. Might have to adjust rebound and stuff. Oh, it's fucking loaded. Not big on the Asa guy still, especially Max Terra. You just have to spend time getting used to it again. Oh. Oh, this thing is the bomb, no bottom out. I might have just kissed the bottom on that second landing. Bugger all. See how this front end feels for height, tipping into turns. Oh, I'm not keen on that edge of this Asa guy. Not keen at all. It just slides when you get it right on those side knobs. Calibrate and get used to it, but the other week when I chucked my DHR2 on the front, went back to minion side knobs, straight away there was just so much more confidence on the edge. Across the tyre, same, same maybe even less but getting towards the edge which is where you need your need your grip uh, the the minions just take it in spades over the asa guy there's no denying the uh, momentum that these things carry it's just full of free speed yeah I don't want to put my front end into anything at the moment but god damn this bike feels so good it's easily, and I mean easily, that was the bottom out, finally. The best e-bike I've ridden. Yeah, boy. Hey, hey mate. Bye. Good. Very calm and stable and capable, but I just don't like this tire up front. If I had this bike for longer, I would go home and put, oh, I've lost my foot there. I'd go home and put my, either DHF or DHR2 up the front so I can really lay on it and get the most out of this bike because it feels killer <laughs> maybe it's a little pokey in the rebound up the front now just the high speed i can't get that cap off so i have to do that down the bottom with a rag and a fire but it's definitely just a little fast on the high speed rebound like those landings where it's that that initial uh, force out of the stroke it's just a little bit too much it's pushing me up a little bit too much like it's keeping me up but it's just pushing the bars back at me on a on a hard g out oh the, what's that there's tree sticking out the side of the trail there apart from that you can sit in in the sag here and just let it slay doesn't feel like I need any extra compression at the back yet. Maybe a quick, but pretty happy with it. Very happy with it. Oop. Again, just a little fast on that high speed rebound is has the front end moving around more than I'd like. Adequate compression. That'll feel good.
Yeah, I'll boost all the way down. And I'll fix that. So there was no chop whatsoever coming from the front, which is good. Um, but it was just pushing me back out of the traveler touch. And I would like to bring it, that front end a little higher again. So I've still got room. As I said, no chop. So I slowed that high speed rebound down just a click. And I might even look at the low speed rebound once we start moving. And uh, cause that's, that's one click from full open. So we'll see where, see how it feels when I go up another, uh, another two PSI, I might go to 101 and see how that feels. Uh, this time we'll drop into pineapples, I reckon. But we'll see how this feels with a little bit more pressure and a little bit slower on the high speed rebound. Oh. It's just a little bit stabby, and maybe I need that high speed rebound. We'll see. Pretty much going to flat there, getting the backside on that one. There's so much speed on this bike. See that front wheel just washed. I was in a good body length, like body position, so I held onto it. But that's when it goes when you right when you need it most, right on the edge. So I've just gone back to one faster on the re on the high speed, but I've slowed the low speed down two clicks to see if that changes anything. It was really supple where it was faster, but it was just punching me out of things. So. Oh, no trust in this ass guy. I tried to give it a little bit of love then, and yeah, I think I'm just a little firm on the spring now at the front, for sure. That's all that is. Yeah, it's not quite falling into the travel now. So I'll be skipping where I'm looking for grip and pushing me around a bit. Yeah, for sure. We'll slow that back down. And go back to where we were. Maybe slow the high, the low speed down a click. I'm just a little high in spring now. So what probably happened before is when I took the pump off, which I'll talk about after, I lost some pressure. So what I was at before coming down the hill was probably more like 96, not 99. And now I've gone to 101 and made sure I didn't lose any pressure when I took it off. And uh, it is just a little bit stout up the front now, for sure. So there's not much I can do about that until we get down to the bottom. Maybe a click of high speed off. Maybe a click of low off as well. So we can get back into the travel a little bit. Two clicks of low off. Now it's kind of falling through the travel a bit with that no high speed. Feels smoother, but yeah, just falling through the travel a little bit. Whoa, went deep on that one. tree down here the other day, it was a bit sketchy, I come in hot and almost ploughed straight into it. Yeah, it's a bit rowdy at the front now, for sure. So I'm going to go back to about 98, 99 I reckon, because that was really good. It's very rowdy at the front now. Kind of poking a little bit.
not rowdy enough that I can, can't hold on to it. But it's not what I want. Yeah, you can lose this ass guy real quick. I do not like it at all. Well, I like it, but I don't... I don't like it better than what I'm used to, that's for sure. Yeah, see the fork's getting kind of caught on things now because it's too stiff. Instead of just kind of fluttering in the sag. Uh, we're at 99 PSI, probably up from about 97. I've gone back to three clicks out from closed on the high speed rebound, but I've slowed the low speed rebound down another click. So maybe we'll see how that feels. If not, I'll change it halfway and go back to a little bit slower on the high speed. But slowing that high speed down another click kind of made it feel a little bit choppy. So we'll see. Feels like I can just kind of hold it where I want it a little bit more. We'll see when we get into the rowdier stuff down a bit further. I just can't lean on that handlebar as much as I'd like with the Asagai. Said it a million times, but I'm satisfied that I prefer the Minions for sure. Good. I don't know why I take that outside line just there. Oh. Try to go a little too straight there. I was a bit afraid I was going to go nose deep in. Oh. I got oscillated out of the G out a little bit there and wasn't focusing. So I got pushed through the turn. So maybe one click slower on the rear for rebound. Got a brace for that one when you're going a bit quicker. It's a hard G out into that rut. Woo! It's a little bit stiff at the front, I think. So I reckon 98 is the move for sure. That first run was probably the best for uh, all out compliance up front. Whew. Let's chill. Oh, that was hard work. That's a big day. That was a big effort. Still got three bars. Could go all day. 630 amp hour battery or what hour, whatever it is. Um, and uh, 
You don't need a bigger battery, that's for sure. I don't think so anyway. I think this bike will destroy you before you get the runs out. Or it'll adequately destroy you once you've done the battery. And going any heavier, going any bigger on the battery just makes it heavier and uh, less ruly. So let's double check what I've done on the rebound there. Oh, I'm scooted. Come on, baby. Oh. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, these caps are super hard to get off sometimes. One, two, three. Yes, yeah, so that was three out with the HSR and then two from fully open on the LSR. <sighs> Nearly full yeehaw bar, that's good, I like that. But maybe just, just button off a touch on that pressure. I could maybe just button off a little bit on the compression. I've got eight clicks of low speed, three or higher from open. So, and it feels killer, it feels killer. <sighs> maybe we'll just go here and click off that low speed. Rear end, yeah, just that one buck. Uh, but it didn't buck me the second time. I came in back heavy and it kind of oscillated me like, rah, rah, and it, I missed the apex of the that dropping turn. But this bike, this Marin Alpine Trail E2 is easily the best e-bike I've ever ridden, easily. <laughs> Nothing's made me this stoked and, this, and been able to charge this hard. Strava's on. So we'll check the Strava later. I'm sure I'll put down a hottie, so we'll see.